This is the um, the McFarlane Toys Dune Stilgar. But before I, you know, get into him, I mean, I'm just going to give you a, look, a quick, quick look at his face for now. But before I give you a better look at him, I just want to compare all of these figures to each other. Now, body-wise, they all look pretty different to me, but I think it's a possibility that these two are sharing the same body. It's a possibility because, I mean, there's a lot of similarities between Paul and Lady Jessica. Such as the feet. Um, the feet look pretty similar. I don't know. I mean, but this, uh, this piece here is different from this piece here. So maybe, like, these outer chest pieces are different. But I think... Yeah, these back pieces are also different. So maybe, you know what, maybe they are different figures. I don't know, you be the judge. I All I can do is show you what they each look like. And, yeah. Maybe they changed it up just enough, or maybe they're different. Completely different. All I know is the mask is different for... Oh, sorry. The mask is different for Lady Jessica because she's got... Or is it? I think it is because, well, no. Okay, wait, wait, not even the mask is different. They've actually just sculpted the hair over the mask, over the back of the mask. So, these two are possibly similar. But, I have found a lot of similarities between these two. I mean, just looking at it, they look very similar to each other. I mean, you know, everything about them besides the head is probably the same. And another thing is that I forgot to mention this, and this because this is a really cool feature, is that they have toe articulation on every single one of them. So, you know, you can move it about that much. So that's pretty cool. All of them have it, you know. That one... I showed you that one. This is Lady Jessica's. Uh, Lady Jessica's goes all the way up. And so does Paul's. So yeah, these two, Lady Jessica and Paul are definitely similar. And these two, um, Stilgar and Duncan Idaho, are definitely similar. In that regard. But anyway, this is a, this is a Stilgar review. So I'm going to show you Stilgar again. Sorry for the bright lighting. Uh, if I could just get him more in focus. A little more darker. There we go. I mean, you can really see the way they did the beard. It's really nice. It reminds me a lot of uh, the way they do the Stranger Things stuff. They've added that wash again into the hair. Let me brighten it up a little so you can see that. Just into the front part, it looks like. And he's got those blue eyes because he's been in the desert, you know. He's been having the spice. And also because his clan just happens to have blue eyes, you know. But I've noticed, like in the original movie, there are certain scenes where Paul is not quite yet accustomed to them. Like when he first meets them and he's coming down with uh, Chani, he has blue eyes all of a sudden. And then... The very next shot that they show him in after that, he's just got no, he, he's got his regular eyes. So I'm wondering if that was a mistake on the special effects part, or if it was just showing that he was accustomed to the ways of this clan. So, yes, that is very cool. Then I believe I've shown the... I, I think I showed the armor off pretty well. I mean... Come on, focus. 
All right, that's fine. I can show it to you in this brightness. So yeah, that foot articul that toe articulation. I forgot to mention it. Oh, and you can like the cool thing about the pegs on this is you can like uh, pretty much move them in any direction. So this could be up and down movement or left and right. It doesn't matter because that peg is movable. So that's one of the cool things. And again, the arms go all the way up to the biceps, legs go all the way up to the thighs when bending. So it's really, it's really just great. So yeah, and this would be, I believe, Javier Bardem. Very great. All right, Duncan, you gotta pretend to be one of Stilgar's men. Yeah! Whoa, teach me your ways, and I will let you be a part of our clan. All right, I will teach you our ways. Whoa, and you shall be, um, Paul Moa D. All right, that's totally cool. I am Paul Moa D. Cool, yeah. Let's do this. All right, man. So yeah, um. And then I want to show you what it comes with, which is, it comes with Raban's, you know, main chest and torso piece. So that's, that's what that is. It's a pretty heavy piece, too. It comes with this backpack and this knife, and those two pieces are for Stilgar. Here is the box. That's the top. There is, um, the Dune logo. Elder Raban. Here's an image of him in the movie, and I think, I think that looks pretty darn close. In my opinion, you know, it's really great. Um, let's, let's just focus in on here, and, uh, so yeah, that's him. That is the stand, the dune stand. There is his, his, uh, you know, crest. Here is Stilgar's name across, you know. And then, window, and let's see, come on, yep, so he's available in stores, and if you want, you can find him, and there's the barcode to find him, and here is the back, that's his information there, just for a second there, there is his um, toy image, it's very nice, I love that red that they're using there for the lighting. And shows the piece that comes with him. And there is Raban, and I will be building Raban next. So I will um, be putting a Raban figure review up today as well, after this.